Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spy Country with another event recap, focusing on basically the prologue month for the up for the just started Star Wars crossover, War of the Bounty Hunters. So, a little background: um, the concept of there being some of a of a war amongst the bounty hunters in the aftermath between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi is not a new idea. It was done in uh, Shadows of the Empire, especially the Dark Horse comic adaptation. The novel kind of hinted at it. Um, if I remember correctly, in the novel, um, IG-88 attacked Boba Fett on his way to uh, Tatooine, damaging the slave one. In the Dark Horse comp, in the Dark Horse adaptation, however, um, <clears throat> the uh, there's much more to it. Uh, bounty hunters, Zuckers, and various other bounty hunters attempted to uh, steal uh, Han Solo from Boba Fett before he was able to turn uh, Solo over to Jabba the Hutt. So. However, of course, as that is a, that was um, expanded universe, expanded universe material from before Disney bought Lucasfilm, it was cast aside as being Legends canon. So, and then and eventually, in the Mar as the Marvel comics have gotten to the point of being between now happening of what's happening in the Marvel the current Marvel Star Wars comics is. Or we're is that we're between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Well, let's get time to get to it. So we kick things off with War of the Bounty Hunters Alpha. Um, it sets it sets the story uh, on his way while en route to uh, Jabba the Hutt. Boba Fett realizes notices there are some problems with the uh, with his prize, with Jabba's prize. Seems to be degrading, so he takes he goes to Narshada to get it looked looked at, and he has a contact that can fix it. That can you know restabilize the car the freeze the carbon the carbon freezing matrix. Um, but it's gonna cost him. Fett tries to get his contact to let him uh, just kind of you know hey, I gotta give this to get this job of the hut. He said, "Pay. He said, pay me. It's a big payday. I'll pay you after I get that." And he's like, "Yeah, I kind of need payment now." And so, basically, kind of a, "Hey, tell you what. I'll help. I'll, I'll do this for you. You do. You help me out with with, with something else I got going on." And so, Boba Fett goes to the uh, fighting pits on Narshada. <laughs> Turns out that his contact lost quite a bit of quite a, quite a few credits on a uh, uh, on a high ranked fighter in the pit in the uh, pit fights, and so Bobo fights his way up the uh, ladder, uh, having painted his armor black and going by the name Django, and eventually does take down the uh, the fighter he was supposed that cost uh, his contact. Uh, some credits, and then quits. However, when he returns to the uh, to his contact's shop, finds his contact dead, and Solo gone. And that's kind of the primary. Looks like this will kind of follow a similar uh, format as most Marvel events, in that we ha will have a core series, and then tie-in story arcs and ongoing books. So next up we had The Prelude to Hunt for Han Solo in Star Wars number 13. Um, Luke and Chewie get word that Boba Fett was seen on Narshada, so they, the two of them as well as uh, R2 and 3PO go to Narshada to try and find him. They missed him, however, and end up getting to a, into a fight with uh, some of the locals. That that's honestly that's the short version of it. Um, and 
but they're trying basically they're trying to make sure that uh, they're trying to find Han Solo so they can rescue him then in Bounty Hunters number 12 we have the pro prologue to Target Solo uh, bounty Hunters Valance and Dengar are on the run from fellow Bounty Hunters Zuckus and Forlong. Um, and however, Dengar offers them a deal. Turns out that uh, Dengar has learned that Boba Fett is no longer in possession of Han Solo, so the Solo bounty, at least from Jabba, is, anyone, is still fair game. And so the various hunters go go after go after it. Valance, however, it's implied that Valance is going after the Solo not to collect the bounty, but to rescue him, as he owes Solo a rather sizable debt. Not a monetary debt, but not I don't want to someone say a life debt, but Han did save him. So he does kind of feel indebted to Han. In Darth Vader, number 12, we get the prologue to Into the Trap. So, first off, a little some background on what's been going on in the last 11 issues of Darth Vader. Uh, after the events of Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader made a play against uh, the Emperor. And he failed. The Emperor kicked his bitch ass. But, obviously, he, you know, didn't dispose of his uh, apprentice. So, Vader has his uh, cyberdynamics prepared, and now he is going to want, is, decides that, you know, he got, or, that, uh, He opts to use, once again, use Han as bait to lure Luke to him. However, not this time not with the intention of having Luke join him against the Emperor, but rather in destroying his son. Um, we also get a flashback to the first time Vader ever encountered Han, which was in the aftermath of the Battle of Yavin, tracking down the Falcon, finding it in, on Corellia, but losing it in a in a YT Freighter shipyard. And finally, we've got Dr. Afra, no, number 10, pro, the prologue to the, to the invitation. Um, it really feels more like a wrap up of the previous nine issues. Um, I, I was honestly lost reading quite a bit of it. Um, Dr. Afra being a character creator specifically for the Marvel, the new Marvel Star Wars comics. Uh, she's a rogue archaeologist. But, um, it does seem, however, that she will be encountering the bounty hunter Dirge over the course of the War of the Bounty Hunters, uh, tie-in, her War of the Bounty Hunters tie-in story. But, uh, this was really just kind of get, this issue really kind of served to wrap, like I said, wrap up the previous, not, the previous arc, and then also have every, get everyone, all of the primary characters headed towards, uh, conflict involving, of course, the hunt for Han Solo, the hunt for the carbon frozen Han Solo. Um, so yeah, uh, we should be seeing um, the this this upcoming month, June, should be seeing uh, part one, the official part ones of each story, um, the, as well as you know more of the Bounty Hunters first issue of the miniseries, as well as um, the Hunt for Han Solo part one, uh, Target Solo part one. Into the Trap, Part 1, and of course, The Invitation, Part 1. All of those should be coming out this month. I believe there are also supposed to be one-shots coming out during each month of uh, the crossover. Um, 
Let me see what previews has to say about that. So, yeah. Hmm. One shots pro likely be showing up, start showing up in uh, July rather than June, however. Um. Yeah, we've got in July we have a job of the hut, one shot, and in August I believe is is a Forlom and Bosk or Forlom and and uh, Zuckus one shot. So, and I as I recall uh, in the listing of all of the related, each of the month zero books has kind of a has a list of okay here are all the Ty, here's everything you're going to need, need to read for the, the whole story. And um, an IG-88 one, a Boosh one shot, and an IG-88 one shot were also both mentioned. So, yeah. Anyway, that is it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my, my Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and PayPal can be found in the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying... May the force be with you, and of course, live long and rock hard.